So Janice Margaret Kelly, but I was Janice Margaret Allen, and I was born 6th of July 1937 in East Coolgardie, or what you would call today Kalgoorlie. Well, my grandparents on my father's side were gold miners, so they had been there from 1897. They made enough money from gold mining to buy a hotel, which was much better than <laughs> I mean, when we're talking gold mine, it's down the shaft with a pick and shovel and a candle. and So, no, they gave that away quite, um, oh, I suppose about 1911. Well, we would catch the tram along Newcastle Street, turn right into William, over the Horseshoe Bridge, and get off at whatever stop in William Street we wanted to be. And we had a choice of, oh, the 12, 13, 14, 15 or 16 tram, a lot of trams went along there and then we would go home and, and the trams were great because they had the driver and the conductor and the conductor always rang the bell at each and called out at each stop and you get off and we were just one block away from where the tram ran along Newcastle Street so go home with all the shopping. But they certainly, most of them knew my grandmother and they would either call her, her name was Mabel, Hi, hello Mabel, or Nana, because we always called her Nana. And so they knew that. The trams were, in those days, uh, prams used to be hooked up on the back of the trams and the conductor would do that, get off the tram and hook a pram on. Uh, the driver sat, of course, in the front, and at the and then he switched around either end. The that section, the back of the tram. A lot of men stood there. I think they smoked. Probably didn't smoke on the tram, although I don't think it, I think people did smoke on trams and buses in those those days. So one of the things I I loved was. When they got to the terminus, say, and they were coming, the tram was coming back, the conductor would go through and flick the seats one after the other because, so they were all facing towards the driver and then the other end, which was, you know, a bit of something kids, kids liked. In the, in the um, summer, every suburb had a picture garden and when we were at the picture gardens, you could see the searchlights. I think they came from King's Park, they operated them from King's Park. So I can remember all that. I think we, we had staggered hours at school and rations. We, were, we had rations, ration books. I do remember some of the uh, different forces around the place, but I mean, I was a bit young for them to have any impact on me. Well, um, at Newcastle Street Infants, I would have been there 43, during the war. So I can remember the trenches in the schoolyard, and they'd have drill, and we'd have to go down and get in the trenches like that. We'd have a um, sugar bag over us, and I think we had things to put in our ears and our nose. I can't really remember having a gas mask, but we may well have. One thing I do remember going to the dawn service. Uh, my uh, best friend up the street, I suppose we'd be about 13, 14, uh, going to the dawn service. We went, got down as far as the West Perth subway, which was uh, near um, Harbour City, is it called now? That shopping centre there, West Perth subway. And a milkman came along with his horse and cart. And where are you girls going? This would probably be five o'clock in the morning or something. We set up to the dawn service, hop on the back. And he took us up to the dawn service. <laughs> That's the only time I've ever been to the dawn service. It's a great memory though. They were the sort of things you could do. And trustingly, doing that. The same with going to King's Parking. Everyone I know used to disappear for the day and um, they might ride up to, from, you know, boys on the bikes might ride up to, Les, uh, not Les Moody, what's that, Mundaring or somewhere like that, gosh, 
don't tell mom.